So this Thanksgiving, I'm doing a little bit of a project on, on Thanksgiving Day, and that project is running Ethernet cable in my house. Now, I have a lot of ideas and plans that uh, I, I want to do eventually, but I think for the purpose of this video and for today, I'm going to focus on running cable from one part of my house to just one other part of my house. I, I kind of consider this like a test, you know, like, can I do this? Is this possible? Is this a thing? You know, that sort of deal. So pretty much I have this. I, I bought a bunch of CAT 6A cable and I bought a couple ethernet um, jacks and some, yeah, I bought a bunch of stuff and I'll show you that here in a second. But um, I, I've never ran cable before. I've never, you know, drilled through firewalls and floorboards and, you know, I've never went down this route of an extensive wiring project. So uh, it's definitely all a challenge because I'm completely ignorant on the subject. Um, and I'm just kind of winging it. So I've, I've watched some videos and I've read some tutorials and you know, I think I have a place or an, enough knowledge to start, but in reality, I really I have no idea what I'm doing. So um, I think this might be fun. Okay, so for this project, uh, I've gotten a few things to help me do it. So the first thing I got is going to be this green leaf flexible uh, it's basically an auger on a stick. I mean, that's literally what it is, it's an auger on a stick. Um, so it's, I don't know, it's kind of long, but it's not long enough. So I also got this, it's an extension for it, so I can help, you know, drill this up for another video or at least another uh, portion of this project. But this is, this is essentially gonna allow me to drill through the floor and then hopefully through the ceiling uh, while I'm inside the wall and allow me to run cable through that. So. Uh, these are the primary tools that I need. Then I got these like fishing rod deals. They're glow in the dark. Um, they have some connections on the end and stuff. Um, pretty much this is what you just stick through. Um, hopefully, I'm going to stick through the floorboard and see where it's coming out in the floor, uh, which is going to be the ceiling of the basement. So I'm going to use that. And then I know I can get these online for a lot cheaper than what I paid for it in store, but these are some Cat 6 RJ45. Uh, now keep in mind these are not cat 6a so there is a possibility this won't work uh, if it doesn't then i'll have to order them online um, but i just i kind of panicked about these because i was like oh i want to do this for thanksgiving and i didn't order them online in time so um yeah i got a couple of those i think this comes with two connections uh, then a, a little punch down tool and then this is a fishing attachment or a wire attachment for the little fishing rods that i have then I've got a saw. This is going to saw into the uh, into the wall and make my little hole. And then this is what you use, you know, when you saw into like a drywall and you make your own hole. This like attaches itself to the drywall and it gives you a place to install these. These are just jacks. So um, I got these with dual jacks on it because I initially was going to be running. Um, I was going to try to run it through the same jack that uh, the, the cable, the coax cable was in. Um, but that sense has changed, but I already got these and I'm not gonna go back and exchange them. So uh, I'm just gonna hook these up and then maybe in the future I can change it out to a single jack and it won't be that difficult. But uh, overall, these will attach directly to these and it'll cover this up. So it should be good to go. And I got a few of those, four of them. Um, don't need them all just yet, but, and then of course, This is Cat 6A, heavily shielded, uh, 650 megahertz uh, capabilities, 10 Gs, of course, uh, 10 gigabit. Uh, so it's definitely beastly cable and can handle anything I can throw at it, way more than I can I can throw at it. So um, I got this on sales, like 120 bucks or something, or maybe 110 bucks. I don't know. I saw it as an open box item on Newegg, and that's kind of what spawned this whole thing. Now this is my basement, and this is essentially where I have my networking stuff, like my router, uh, and my cable modem. This goes up, and then over, and then into the wall, and then my server is behind this wall right here. So essentially I'd have to go up, over, which I've already ran a cable. Uh, that's for the HD home run that's actually up there. Uh, so I go up, over, through that ceiling, which I've done before. And then here is the little 
side room that's next to my studio. So it comes through here, run over there, right? And then that is where I have the, the antenna hooked up, obviously. But back that way is where I'm going to be fishing cable out of. And I'll show you where that goes up to. Right here. So this is a spare bedroom. It's not actually being used and it has absolutely no need for an ethernet jack at all. But this is a good place to start and to at least try this whole thing out just to see if it's something that I can do. Um, also, if I screw it up, it won't be completely noticeable uh, all the time. So downstairs is my studio, right? Um, if I'm downstairs, this is essentially, I'd be sitting at my desk right here and the camera would be pointing at me like this. So this wall is probably going to be, you know, pretty close. The point is, is that I do have access, although I will have to fish and find it, uh, to pull the cable directly down and then have access to that floorboard thing downstairs. So the idea is to have this somewhere about right there. Hopefully I get it fairly straight, but this will allow me to uh, use these tools drill down through the floorboard, uh, stick the ethernet cable down there and then fish it out through the bottom. Actually, that's an unknown right now how I'm gonna grab it, but either way, this is the idea, I'm gonna drill down. And then if that works, I wanna use this as like, I wanna use this as a hub, right? To where all of my cables can be routed downstairs and through this main hole that I'm, or at least a few holes that I'm gonna drill down here. And then I'm gonna send them upwards. Now I've actually already used a stud finder to go through here and find out where the studs are, mark them off with masking tape. And then I have a firewall up here marked off with masking tape. Thankfully it's not too far up so I can kind of like angle it and drill multiple holes. Um, the problem is that I have to go through not only the firewall but also up through that into the attic which I do want to get wires going directly to the attic uh, then I can run them throughout the house a little bit easier. So uh, that is definitely the plan. Hopefully that works out. Now I do want to say before I start this montage of potential failure is that I was sent this little like miniature tripod deal that has like a monopod thing built in. It's built by Zecti. Uh, I'll get some b-roll for you, but I have to say they sent this to me. And they're like, look, if you like it, talk about it. You know, if not, whatever. I've been using it. I used it not only for a couple different videos here, but I've used it for a wedding and it's actually been pretty nice. I mean, it's got all kinds of different things with it. The feet can go all the way down. You can bend it all the way up. You can even turn the thing upside down if you want like a super low shot with your camera. It even has this built-in monopod that's one of the legs. So you can like unscrew that and then use it as just a standard monopod. It definitely has a lot of flexibility and a lot of potential. Uh, the only thing that I think that I didn't like about it when I was using it for wedding is that this little adjuster thing, like you can move it all over, um, all the way down, actually. Uh, so I don't, I don't know if this would be a problem with a larger camera, like a heavier camera. Probably, I'm just going to assume it could, but uh, the way it's built, it kind of makes me nervous putting a more expensive or a heavier camera on it. Uh, so, But that's the only complaint really I have about it, and it's not really a complaint. It's just, it's not built for probably larger cameras. So if you guys want to learn more about it, I will link in the description below, but I am using that for today's video and so far I really like it. I forgot that there's a bathtub on the other side of that wall. That sucks.
So I took a little interlude for Thanksgiving. Um, I had, had a nice dinner lunch thing. Um, love Thanksgiving. Anyways, where I left off is the wire, the fishing pole, the little metal thing on it. Uh, it's getting stuck in a little bit of insulation that's on that side of the wall. So pretty much what I have to do is wrap it in tape. And I decided that I'm going to use electrical tape. Also, it looks like I'm developing a cold sore. It's weird how that pops up like in the middle of the day. Awesome. So, fussing with it, I think that um, this tip here was just not squeezing through the hole or something. It was, I don't know, wasn't sure. So, I just went with duct tape. And I'm gonna try to pull that through now. Hope for the best. Okay, so I pulled it all the way through there and you can see the wire right there. So it got a little tangled up and I did have to go back up there and kind of mess with it. But basically, now I have the wire pulled through to where I can easily finish it. And then I can start, you know, unscrewing these because I don't really need these anymore. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna run it over the water so yeah, that's basically what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I uh, ran this over the water lines over there and I brought it over here. Um, I don't know why, but I think it's because eventually I'm thinking about moving my server here and then wires right there, this is here, I have to go down the wall. It's one of those things like maybe I don't know yet, but pretty much right now I'm just running it down to here and then I'll hook it up here just to make sure it works and make sure I did it right. Um, but past that, I don't know. This is more of a trial run. So this is where it gets interesting. I uh, have the cable ran down and now I'm going to make a keystone jack. Um, hopefully I got all the right stuff for it. I think it's called a keystone jack. I don't know. I've never made one before. Um, so this is a little punch down tool. Hopefully it's the right tool. Um, kind of guessing here. And then we have these, which are the quick connects. I think they're called keystone jacks, but they're not called the keystone jack on this package. So um, I don't know. I actually have no idea how to put these on in the sense of like done research type of deal. Um, I think they're pretty simple, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, they lay it out pretty simple. You just you know line up the colors, pretty basic. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully they are really simple. You just push this down on it after you put it in there. So yeah, I'm gonna make that. Every time I do something like this, uh, that I don't actually know what I'm doing, I just imagine in my head, somebody in my in my uh, viewer base, subscriber base, who's like professional at whatever it is that I'm doing and I have no idea what I'm doing. I just imagine them 
screaming at me through the monitor, like, oh my god, why am I doing it like that? That's the worst thing ever. You know, like, <laughs> it's funny to me because I get into stuff like this because I don't know how to do it, you know, and that's fun to me. So, um, I could just imagine how it could, it could drive some people mad to actually know what they're doing watching somebody like me fumble around like an idiot. But, hey, you know, at least it's entertaining, hopefully, to some people. I don't know. Is that the right way to do it? Not sure. Did it get done? Maybe. Okay, here is the moment of truth. Um, right now it's connected to Wi-Fi. I have uh, one downstairs connected directly to the modem, or I'm sorry, to the router, and then one up here, of course, connected to this. So, I'm going to plug this bad boy in right here. There we go. And we're going to see if this works. Disable that. Disable that. There we go. Okay. And enable that. Dun 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 shit. Well wait, I went to go check it and it was just slow. So it actually worked. Sweet! Alright, let's try. Yes! Look at that! Yes! It's working! First try! It's working! Okay, so... I have successfully, on my first try, made a connection from downstairs to upstairs. I am totally proud of myself because, you know... <laughs> It's not every day when I try to do something I don't know how to do, it actually works out the first time. That's kind of a, it's a special occasion for me. Oh, really simple. When you actually know what you're doing, which I don't. Okay, so got everything hooked up. I did a test, I did a speed test. It worked perfectly, everything was great. Um, I, I did end up having to go through and manually or undo the manual IP settings that I had on the laptop because I was doing something else with it. Uh, so I had it manually configured to a specific IP address. Uh, but that's okay. Once I fix, once I figure that out and I set that to pull DHCP, it was able to get internet access, and I got good speeds, quality connection, everything was good. Um, now I'm just pretty much putting this plate on the wall to kind of officialize it, and once that's done, I'm done. Um, something to bear in mind here is that. I put the cable near my router just because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it just yet. Um, I don't know if I want to run it to my server room or not, but I have a, enough extra cable to where I could, I could either A, run it to my other server or to my main server location, or B, and this is a possibility, uh, I can run it to a new server location, which is going to be more complicated to do. Um, but I have been contemplating moving my server like I think I showed you actually in the video. So uh, I do have enough slack, I think, that if I do decide that I want to do that, I will have enough cable to accomplish it. So if I do, I'll probably make a video about moving the server and then wiring everything up. Now, this was just a test. More or less. I wanted to prove a point that I could do it, or try to see if I could do it, not necessarily prove anything. Uh, the next step is going to be going through the same hole with a new hole in the floor, and then a new hole in the firewall, and then hopefully in the ceiling, and then running a cable up to the ceiling, and then possibly to a, a different location. Uh, I don't 100% I don't know yet, but uh, that's, that's kind of the idea. Uh, I was also thinking about turning this closet into kind of like a router um, and just running one wire up the, the closet 
and then hooking up a, a switch in the closet and then using that to have just one wire running everything else up here, um, which would be more than sufficient for what I need, which is basically security cameras and stuff like that. I don't know. All I wanted to do today in this video was prove that I could do it, and I did. So, mission successful. It's so pretty. Ooh, I need internet. Ooh, Ooh look at me, I'm so fancy. I'm so fancy. I can't plug it in. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching my shenanigans. Uh, hopefully you found enough things to laugh at me about. And uh, if you like what I do, like and subscribe below. If you dislike what I do, make sure to tell me in the comments. Have a good day. Good night.